Hello, this is Johnny Norvell with the Music Performance Academy. Today we've got the Suzy Q song, which won our poll. Go check out our community page, and we're, we're letting you decide what songs we should cover from week to week. Um, also, like and subscribe. We appreciate you all so much being here. And uh, tell us what you, what you like. Answer our polls. They're on our, the community page, I think I mentioned. So anyhow, we're going to get right into this great song on this hybrid style of picking. There you have it. Let's hop right into this tutorial. We're going to work this in steps. First thing we're going to do is the lick. And we've got some close ups we're going to show you while I'm doing this. So here we go, really slow. That's pretty much the whole lick of the song. Now let me play the chords and I'll sing a little bit. Oh, Susie Q. Oh, Susie Q. Oh, Susie Q. I love you, my Susie Q. So it gets a little boring if you're just strumming the chords. So what we've designed here, what we're going to try to do is show you how to play and do this little riff while you're singing the chords. And the best way to do that, we'll explain, I've got a book here that shows you all that, but first I'm gonna do it, um, and then we'll do it really slow. And that's the other thing, you gotta, you gotta do it slow and be prepared to make some mistakes, but learn uh, the mistakes are good because what you wanna keep doing is keep the rhythm going. Now I'm gonna play it, I'm probably gonna hit some wrong notes, but what you're gonna notice, I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop and start over, it doesn't matter what happens? I'm just going to keep going. So here we go. Oh, Susie Q. Oh, Susie Q. Oh, Susie Q. I love you, my Susie Q. Who didn't stop? Try to get it right. Oh, Susie Q. Oh, Susie Q. Oh, Susie Q. I love you, my Susie Q. See? Made a lot of mistakes, but that third time through, it was it got better. But I didn't stop and start over. And that's something on a on a riff blues like this, you don't want to do is, is stop and start over. Everybody's gonna know you screwed up if you do that so keep going no matter what once you get the the lick um just keep going and then when you when you have struggles just go to the word the chords and sing them and just strum like this oh Susie q oh Susie q oh 
Susie Q, I love you, my Susie Q. The chords in this are real easy. You've got an E7. You can do an E7 like that if you want to. E7. You got an A7. You've got a C7, a B7, and then back to E. That's all the chords in the song. The tough part is getting that lick going and then singing while you're playing against it. So let me try it again. Oh, Susie Q. Oh, Susie Q. Oh, Susie Q. I love you, my Susie Q. I like the way you walk. I like the way you talk. I like the way you walk, I like the way you talk, my Susie Q. Here comes the lead. Okay, here's what I want to talk about at the end here. These books, if you find from Hal Leonard, if you see people like James Burton, uh, Albert Collins, Albert Lee, these guys are the greats. And they put their material in these books. And so a lot of these YouTubers are saying, well, we can teach you everything. Well, I still re rely on people that are way better than me. And it's amazing because these tabs are really good. Uh, the notes above the tabs are excellent i mean you have to tweak them and do them your own way but so that's part of the thing with doing tabs using tabs you make them fit what you're doing and don't just study them to, to learn concepts but learn uh songs through these tabs and if you you know you can what I, what happens with me a lot of times i'll learn it from a tab but six months later after i've performed it it still sounds good but it's it's my own way and i may go back to the source material and it may be totally different but it's a it's a really good way to start learning um, it keeps you in time you've got the notes above the tabs you've got the right chords so anyway I, I highly recommend you you go pick up stuff like this and it'll it's going to help you uh, get to where you can play live and be instead of just strumming along like so many guitar players you're going to be playing riff bass blues and singing at the same time kind of like the greats like johnny winter or some of the uh, uh john uh mayer you know, those guys that can just pull this stuff off without with ease because they've done a lot of studying. So anyhow, I'm rambling, but we appreciate you being here. Go out and purchase the book, and we'll have more and more real great stuff coming next week. God bless you all. We'll see you next time.